My name's Ralph, I'm with Flex Films, and I'm gonna show you this cool technique called pocket shrinking. Uh, this, the first step is, is simply to clean the glass like we've already done. The second step is to actually wet the glass because we're gonna show you how to do this uh, wet. It can be done dry, but for this demonstration, we're gonna do it wet. I prefer to do it wet. We're gonna use our uh, Panaflex uh, two-ply, 2.0 mil, 70% uh, 70, uh, 70 product we use on front windshields. And of course, this we've done it on this entire law enforcement vehicle. But um, the next step, we're gonna put the film on and we're gonna go from there. All right, the next step here, we've already got the film on the glass after we've cleaned it and wet it. Um, we're we're gonna we're gonna slowly move it around and uh, we're gonna anchor it here in the middle, okay? And then we're going to we're gonna anchor it on the sides. We're gonna you know try to work out as much water as we can. Uh, we're not gonna try to crease it and we're gonna work around these fingers. But I'm gonna try to get these fingers as uh, pretty and up and down as I possibly can. And this will be the next step, what we're doing. I'm going to do the, do the same on both sides. Let me do this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pre-trim this. I'm going to try to leave about uh, a half an inch. I'm going to do a final trim, of course, when I'm ready for it. But for now, I'm just going to go a little larger all the way around on purpose. I'm going to repeat the same steps. Just uh, for the record today, I'm using a smart card, platinum version. I enjoy this card. I don't really use it on the inside, but I, I certainly enjoy running it across the re, uh, release liner and smoothing out my film. It slides really well on most films and um, accomplishes the goal that I'm trying to accomplish. Pretty cool little card, I like it. You can use any anything you want on this method, but I prefer this little card here. Again, I'm gonna continue my trim here. All the way perimeter, leave at least a half an inch, preferably. Let's see where I left off over here, okay. All right, then I discard the excess film. For now, okay. This is a kind of a kind of a critical step here. I see some fingers on the sides, and if I move them over, I'm going to get get. They're going to become very large. This window on a late model uh, Crown Vic is not so bad. Uh, I've seen windows that are much more curved. This film, I'm actually going to for demonstration purposes. I'm going to move and create some fingers on the side because this is a wonderful technique to even side shrink. And if you notice, by creating small fingers on the sides, this is about, what, two and a half inches, three inches. My, my finger on the bottom here has, has uh, uh, decreased its size by half, which is going to make it easier for me to shrink. Um, and on the top, I can do the same, but um, we're just going to leave these two for now. That looks like a good... Uh, a good finger. The, the small finger makes a huge difference here, top and bottom. So it's cool. It's cool to put small side fingers when you can. I'm going to rinse and repeat here. Do the other side same way. Naturally, I've already got some small fingers that are already here from the first setup. I'm going to leave them there, and I'm, I'm just I'm making everything look vertical and pretty. I just like it to all kind of come together and look really nice and neat. And uh, I like to get the water out. Some people that I see do this technique don't doesn't really matter for them. But it really does to me. But and that's uh, that's the way I want my this. Now this is the way I want it to, to be before I begin. This is the technique of pocket shrinking. First of all, I want to show you something about a finger. Most people start shrinking from the middle of the glass down. And in wet shrinking, uh, a lot of people will put direct heat on a finger and cause this too much stress on the film. 
uh, dry shrinking was an answer to this problem because it allowed you to heat more of the film e more evenly to create less stress on the film and give you a better install. This technique is a, a little different. It can be done dry or wet. The, the theory behind this process is usually the first half or third of a finger where most people start with a heat gun is going to, it, this is going to get heated three times more than it should be heated, which is going to create more problems at the bottom, more heating to get it to lay down. Pocket shrinking, we're actually going to put uh, air, uh, hot air up into the film. We're going to watch this finger bloat up and get real fat and, and flutter. And then the base of this is going to curl under after it pulls the bottom tight. By pulling the bottom tight, we really at this point get to see what we really need to tackle at the top. And you will find it's usually a third less than what we normally heat it. So you're actually going to do less heating overall because you, you find out exactly what you need down here and you see exactly what you need up here with this method. I'm going to turn my Wagner heat gun on and I'm going to begin the process with this, with this finger. I'm going, to, I'm going to get the heat going up underneath it slowly and I'm moving it very uniformly. See how it's curling under? And now I'm going to attack the belly of this finger fast, at a faster pace. I'm going to watch it turn into a beautiful slow little S figure. See that? It's kind of turning into a fat caterpillar looking S. Okay, once it gets down to that S looking shape, then I can literally just make it disappear. And I hardly had to put any heat on it. That's the pocket shrinking technique. We simply repeat the steps on the fingers, start at the bottom, work the S, push it out. Start at the bottom, push it out. You know, we just simply go down the line with this technique. And you see how fast I'm working this? I mean, I'm just real time here. I might even go into this a little bit. Real time here, I'm, I'm, I'm heating the bottom, getting the S, getting the S, pushing it out. See how fast I'm moving? I'm moving so fast and I'm, I'm actually slowing down for the camera. Now, let's talk about side fingers, okay? Remember, these are the ones that made our large fingers small. Well, this is a little different. I'm gonna go up underneath it, but I'm actually gonna destroy the edge and I am purposely not going to touch anything in the clear. Watch how this works. Kind of goes up and I'm gonna push it out. Just gotta be kind of quick with it. I'm destroying the edge, but it's actually snapping my edge together. Look at that. Those fingers are gone, and now I, I don't have to worry about them. This is gonna lay down smooth. I took the stress off my corner fingers by creating the small fingers, and this is working uh, marvelous. Let me show you a bigger finger in the corner. I'm gonna start at the corner, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go really fast in the belly of this thing to get the S going. Oh good, this finger's not gonna be as pretty as the other ones, but it's still working. See, I'm already sealing the top, and I'm already seeing that the bottom is kinda of going slower, so I'm gonna be real careful. I'm gonna kinda of work this thing. Oh, I got another side finger. I'm gonna work it up, see how it's just disappearing. I got a little one to contend with, that's normal how I shrink it. This finger's done. I'm gonna kinda of hit the side one that relieved a lot of pressure, same way. I'm gonna come in. Go down the line, just destroy the edge. I have no problems anymore. Now watch how fast I can move as I, as I move along. It's really fast, I don't have to hardly heat anything. I just keep moving the bottoms, hitting the bellies, watching for the S, easing it down with the hard, with the hard card, moving on down the line. There we go, half the window's done. That's pocket shrinking. I'm gonna finish the other half. Just, just get some fit, footage of pocket shrinking. You ready? More pocket shrinking technique. Take number 10. <laughs> Side shrinking. 
Side trinking, get a good shot on the side trinking. Pocket. Okay, here's our Panaflex uh, two ply 2.0 mil ceramic over the entire vehicle. It's really a popular choice for law enforcement because of all their equipment. This vehicle's brand new. It's one of a, a fleet of them that we've done where we tint the front windshield, we tint the side windows. Uh, the vis visible light transmission on the film out of the box on this particular product is 72%. Of course, it combines with the uh, existing factory tent and drops that down probably to something in the 60 something percent range we haven't done an official test on it yet so i know it's close but gives it a nice uh, clean look see right through it but it gives gives it an amazing ability to block out the uh harmful the stuff that the sun throws at you every day so there you go it's a good looking film this is the window that we pocket shrank. Always turns out nice and clean and flawless.